Okay, this is political destruction for a third time. You don't know that, but my camera died once, and I screwed up and bring in the traction. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, this is an experiment of mine I'm doing. Um, the last video I did, I just edited the master track, which was uh, finalized and used reverb and all that. On the DPO2, you can see my mastering video for that. I believe I have one. If I don't, let me know. I should. Um, basically what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to export each individual track from the song and then I'm going to put it on a... I'm going to put it on a computer using Audacity here and I'm going to edit it. I'm going to take all seven tracks, edit it, and then I'm going to master it in a 32-bit instead of the 16-bit off the uh, DPO2. And I'm going to master it in a 32-bit on, on, in Audacity. I'm going to export it as a uh, file type. I didn't explain how to export a, a song on my last video, which I should have done, because that was a simple one. This is a bit more complex. Um, you can just skip to the end. I'll post a link where I start talking about that. Um, basically, what I have already done... What I have already done is um, export the tracks off the DPO2. Well, they're on the DPO2, but the DPO2 is connected to the computer. I've already exported the tracks to the wave portion. Um, if you wanted to do that, you would just click Menu, right here, and then go to Wave, and then Export Track, and then select all the tracks that you want. Now, the manual is actually pretty clear on this, which is surprisingly enough. Um, okay. Now, I'm going to open Audacity. Please. That was from my last one when I screwed up. Just click OK. Um, if you're going to import multiple ones, just go down to File, Import, Audio, and then I already have it selected, but you would find the DPO2 on your computer. I'm using Linux, so it might, might look a little bit different to you. Um, just find the DPO2, go to your wave portion, and then select all the tracks. Now you see this last one down here, it's not selected. That was the master track I used in my last video. I'm going to open, and it's going to import each one of these to it. And I already know what these are, so I'm not going to label them. Uh, tracks 1 and 2 are the stereo drums, 3 and 4 are guitar, 5 is bass, 6 and 7 are vocals, so... Alright. Everything seems to be pretty, pretty level. I've never done this, so this is completely new to me. I'm going to make sure these load, though. Being an obnoxious. Alright. So let's just play it from the start, see how the levels are. Well, anyways, that's pretty balanced. Um, I'm gonna... I can't remember how to link these, but... I'm gonna select both the, uh, 1 and 2 because they're stereo drum tracks. And I'm gonna go to tracks... And, uh, let's see, how do I do this? Link, there we go. No. Anyways, I'm, I've never done this, so it's completely new to me. Hang, hang, bear with me. Uh, edit. No. Uh, hmm. I know I did it once, but not on this one. Uh, why didn't I not select them both? Uh, join? No, that's not it. I need to be better with this software. Make some resample.
Oh, there we go. Alright, well, anyways, if you have, like, a left and a right drums, I'm sorry I'm taking so long here. <laughs> um, if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. It's just an experiment of mine. Um, you would just go track, select the tracks, select them both, and then go to make a stereo track, which I already did. Now they're both the same track. Now let's just play these ones. That's just the drum track. Now I'm going to take it off solo. And it's a little bit unbalanced, you know. But uh, anyways, um, you can label everything. Um, now this is probably the professional way to do it. Um, you can uh, you you can apply various effects. You can change the EQ, make echo. Uh, I've got a bunch of plugins. I got a reverb here somewhere. And pitch shifters, blah blah blah. You can pretty much edit edit anything you want on here. And um, once you've got everything like balanced or so, I'm gonna give it a shot. Here. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm not going to balance it all, I don't have time for that in my video, and it would take forever. Um, that's like production you'd have to do, just make sure it's balanced, uh, make sure you can hear everything equally. Um, you can get all kinds of, uh, effects, you can like apply reverbs, all that stuff, distortions if you want, echoes, equalizations, all of that stuff, um, you can apply that to all of the tracks. Um, once you got everything balanced and you got it the way you want it, to export you would just go File, Export, make sure you export the whole song and not a selection. Select, uh, put a name in for it. I'm just gonna name it Track 001. Uh, transport it to my desktop. And, uh, over here, you've got all your file types. Uh, you could export it as a wave. Uh, MP3, it'll say MP3 files, there's all kinds of stuff you can export it as. WMAs, I'm just going to export it as an MP3. You can click options and uh, do your quality. I would just leave it the same, so. And then click save. And then you could enter uh, artist information for the tags, whatever have you. I'm not going to put anything in. And now it's going to export the song. It may take a little bit of time. I got a text message here. Hang on. And now, let me minimize this. And now that song is right here. And I can just click it, and it'll play it. I have, like I said, I haven't done any uh, mastering for it, so it's going to be off balance. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, there you go. Um, in Audacity, I would uh, go through and normalize everything. It's under the effects. And just normalize it to like negative 1 or negative 2. Just to make it a little bit flatter and like a compression to it. So, it'll make it, I think it'll make it sound a lot cleaner. Um, just mess around. Um, if I figure out anything, anything really cool, uh, I'll let you know. And I'll post another video, perhaps. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I may do another video about a drum machine that I have. Uh, let's see, what else was I going to go? That's about it. Um, anything else I'll post in the description. Uh, make sure you check out my friend Duob666 profile. Um, he does some cool horror stuff. And he wrote that Dead Dog song that you just heard. If you like it, uh, he may have a video of it up after I finish this recording up, yeah. You're actually seeing work here, so. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, please let me know. Send me a message, comment, 
whatever. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you need anything, let me know. Uh, if you need any help running Audacity, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.